Turn your mobile workstation into a powerful battle station. The Aorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box is a complete yet compact solution that comes with a GTX 1070 graphics card and 450 watt PSU built inside. Hook it up to your laptop and you have a battle ready machine right away. Here is how it works. First plug in the power cord. Next, connect the gaming box to your laptop with the Thunderbolt USB Type-C cable included in the package. The Thunderbolt 3 technology enables blazing fast 40 gigabits per second of data transfer while providing up to 100 watt power to the connected laptop at the same time. When you see the gaming box lights up and hear the notification sound, it means laptop has successfully recognized the gaming box. Then follow the instructions on the screen to proceed. Finally, download the NVIDIA driver and the installation is done. A quick reminder, do not unplug and replug the cable immediately as it may cause system failure. Wait for the disconnection sound and then plug the cable back in again. Now you're ready to play on your Ultrabook laptop. Just to up your game even more, you can connect an external monitor of your choice for an enhanced gaming experience. At the back, there are three USB 3.0 ports where you can hook up your gaming peripherals and external storage to set up a complete battle station. There is also an extra quick charge 3.0 port to charge your mobile devices when the battery is running low. There you have it, the innovative external graphics solution from Aorus. Work hard, but don't forget to play even harder. Enjoy the best of both worlds with the Aorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box. Meet the amazing Node Pro PCIe expansion chassis. With its handy carrying handle, you can take it anywhere. It opens a world of possibilities. From capture cards to audio and network cards, your options are endless. With two 6 plus 2 pin PCIe power cables that provide power directly to the card, and with four PCIe 3.0 lanes, it can handle almost any full length card, delivering speeds up to 2750 megabytes per second. Cards can easily be swapped with no tools required. And securing the cover takes just a second. The Note Pro has a built in 500 watt power supply, display port, and two Thunderbolt 3 ports so you can daisy chain additional devices. The Note Pro is engineered for both Mac and Windows. It delivers 60 watts of continuous power to keep your laptop charged. The Note Pro. Take it anywhere. Hey, Robert here, talking to you today about AMD XConnect technology, a new feature we've built into Radeon Software 16.2.2 driver. But before I do that, I want to talk about a problem that I face all the time as a gamer on the road. First, I have two notebooks. Uh, one of them is a large gaming notebook. It's 17 inches as a screen, weighs over six pounds, and it's awesome to game on, but it's really difficult to carry all the time. It's just heavy. Uh, on the other side of the fence, I have a very portable, ultra thin notebook, 14 inch screen, weighs about two and a half pounds, and that's what I take on the road to travel or to work. And I really wish I had one device, something like this, that would allow me to game when I needed to or travel when I needed to. The point is, the choice would be mine. And with AMD XConnect technology, we can give you exactly that. AMD XConnect technology adds support for Thunderbolt 3 external graphics enclosures configured with Radeon R9 300 series or R9 Fury graphics. For example, we've configured this enclosure with a Radeon R9 Nano GPU. And when you do that, when you configure one of these external enclosures with a Radeon graphics card, you can connect and disconnect the enclosure from a compatible notebook at any time. In fact, it's as easy to use as a USB flash drive, the Razer Blade Stealth. It's a beautiful notebook from Razer, super portable. 
And as an optional accessory, it comes with the Razer Core, uh, a Thunderbolt 3 external graphics enclosure that can accept GPUs up to 375 watts of power consumption. So that means you could configure this enclosure with the AMD Radeon R9 390X, the R9 Nano, or even the R9 Fury from Asus. And when you do that, you can connect and disconnect the Razer Core from the Razer Blade Stealth at any time. It supports USB and Ethernet connections on the back of the Razer Core as well. So it's very easy to assemble a desktop class sort of experience out of a small and portable system. And it's upgradable. And I think that's what gamers everywhere really want to see. There's also a bigger story behind AMD X-Connect technology, the Razer Blade Stealth, and the Razer Core. Razer, AMD, and the Intel Thunderbolt Group. Collectively, we agreed that powerful external graphics cards that are easy to connect to a, a laptop like this one uh, is something that gamers would really appreciate. So Intel provided the Thunderbolt 3 specification, which provides up to 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth on a really simple reversible cable. Razer implemented the Thunderbolt 3 spec in their notebook and they went through all the effort to validate that solution and make sure it runs really well and looks great for gamers everywhere. And the last piece that we provided at AMD was a graphics driver that was compatible with Thunderbolt 3 external graphics specification. And when you put all of that together, you get the Razer Blade Stealth and you get the Razer Core, but all of that work that we've done to tackle BIOS issues and platform challenges and cabling and software problems, that work was fed back into industry standards. So we've done the work for you and we've done the work for the broader PC industry. And that is why we at AMD are absolutely confident that we will see future systems that behave like the Razer Blade Stealth and the Razer Core. Another key benefit of AMD X-Connect technology and the Thunderbolt 3 external graphics specification is that you have the choice between gaming on the notebook's internal panel, which comes in 1440p or 4K on the Razer Blade Stealth, or you can connect an external monitor up to 4K resolution. And because you have an AMD Radeon R9 300 series graphics card in there, you can connect an AMD FreeSync enabled monitor for incredibly smooth gaming. Now, the important thing to keep in mind about AMD X-Connect technology is that it's a generic driver for Thunderbolt 3 external graphics enclosures like the Razer Core. We expect other OEMs in the future will come up with bigger enclosures, smaller enclosures, some will be user upgradable, some will be very compact with mobile graphics cards inside. But the point is, there's a very simple and small set of requirements that a manufacturer has to meet to make a Thunderbolt 3 external graphics enclosure. And if they take those steps, and we expect that they will, AMD X-Connect technology will make it very easy to plug in and game on. Now, I know you might look at this and say, hey, that's not ROG, and you're right. This is the Transformer 3 Pro, and it's an ultra-portable 2-in-1 that's very fast. It runs a Intel Core i7, a 512GB SSD, and up to 16GB of RAM. Uh, but one of the coolest features this has on it is a Thunderbolt 3 connection, and that's where the ROG comes in. Let's say you want to game on this thing. Well, you can go ahead and plug it into the ROG XG Station 2. And this is an external graphics card enclosure. Um, right now it's got a Strix GTX 1080 inside. And it's more than just an enclosure. If you take a look at the back, it has networking, USB hubs, so you can really use it 
as a dock. You bring your two-in-one home, you can plug it into the really high-powered graphics and start gaming or editing video, anything like that. And here in this display, we've got it set up kind of how you might have it at home with the keyboard and mouse. Right now, we're using with the brand new Spatha mouse and the Claymore keyboard, which is going to be available soon. We've also got it connected to our latest uh, PG248Q monitor. This is a 24-inch 1920 by 1080 monitor, and its real claim to fame is its refresh rate. It's up to 180 hertz. Uh, so this is the monitor we send to all of the esports tournaments that we sponsor, just so people can have the highest refresh rate possible. So that is the ROG XG Station 2. It's a really cool way to get desktop level graphics onto an Ultrabook or a two-in-one like we have here. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and we'll see you next time.